Good morning from a snowy city. Quite the opposite of the last video. We are in the city, the, t the city of Tahoe, Tahoe City, Lake Tahoe area. So here's the sign behind me. And we took a little trek to get here. Um, actually pretty close to the road as you can see. But today, we're gonna be exploring Lake Tahoe and Tahoe City. So now, let's go back the way we came and hopefully not drop this camera. says Yosemite, so I get how that could be misleading. We are not in Yosemite, we're in Lake Tahoe, Tahoe City. We're almost out of the, out of the snow here. There we go. Have to walk. Pretty slow, dude, just due to the ice. The ice is pretty slick here when walking. And if you got more snow, you get a little better traction, but that stuff up there, that slippery stuff that kind of blends in is the deadly stuff. So we're taking baby steps right now. Came here with the family. They're staying at the place. Um, we're using my grandparents' place. Shout out to them. For just a two day trip. Um, so the family is back at the place and I thought I'd just go and show you guys a bit about this special place. I've uh, grown up going here you know, little trips for the summer here and there, and for the winter. And it's a really, really cool place, very unique. Um, one of the prettiest lakes in the world. Um, so yeah, holds a special place in my heart. Um, so yeah, come along with me and we'll continue this, this snowing snowing city journey in in March check out these icicles pretty cool yeah we gotta walk nice and slow over this stuff see there's decent amount of people here actually very pretty day as usual so right here, we've got Fanny Bridge. Um, they call it that because people would bend over and throw uh, food to the fish, which is what I used to do when I was younger. Um, there's the dam, as you can see. Top of it's covered with snow. We'll actually go behind it really quick. And you can see the lake is way out there. Right here you've got the river that goes across. You've got a couple of the local restaurants. So let's go this way. And we can maybe find some history of the dam. There's the gatekeeper's museum. It's a nice museum around here. And here's the dam. Here's some of the history. I don't want to get too close, so I'll zoom in because these icicles are going to drip on the camera. You can see it's from 1909 is when the pictures are from. 
Here's some history. Kind of take it in if you want to. So it said if all the water in Lake Tahoe was stacked in a square one acre column, the column would be over 122 million feet or 23,000 miles high, which is nearly three times the diameter of the earth. So what that sounds like to me is a lot of water. Here's when the dam is being constructed. Here's the elevations of the lake. More photos. Lots of history here on this on this dam. And right here you can see Lake Tahoe. But don't worry cuz we'll get a better view of it later. plan today is basically walk through the city, Tahoe City, that is, hit the food spot like we usually do, and just show you guys around. Um, just a very peaceful day. We're going to take this back way that I've always taken into Tahoe City. Instead of going that main road where all those cars are, we're just gonna take Mackinac Road behind the buildings. It's kind of a little shortcut path. Hidden Ventures with Roy secret. As you can see, we're almost to the main street. We've even got the classics out here. Classic truck over there, Chevy. So they got the snow plow over there and they've got the bobcat over here. They got all the tools necessary to move the snow when it's needed because there's a lot of it. All right, we got off Mackinac and we made it to the main road. And the bus stop's got the icicles on it. This is Tahoe City. But we're gonna cut down to a little park down there. Check that out. Headed to Commons Beach. Now normally, there would be a ton of families here if this was the summertime. But as you can see, it's completely empty except for a couple cars in the parking lot. And here's the lake, which is pretty fascinating. So you've got your snowy beach, and you can see the sand creeping through a little because it's not terribly cold. But that's pretty amazing. The water, I would not take a swim, but if you paid me enough, maybe I would. But I'd probably get hypothermia. And I don't really rock with hypothermia. The lake all behind me. Check it out. And then the, the playground. And you can see right up there is actually where we're going. So let's head back over this way, check out some more stuff. There's a family coming to play on the playground, so I'm glad someone is using it. Coming back to where we first kind of entered. It's a historical building. Not really sure what it is. I don't remember, I've been here before, I just don't remember. Oh, so this was the jail. This is actually a jail. So, dang, 
I, I thought it was a jail if I remembered correctly. Because it looks like one. This thing is covered in snow. Now it looks like it's filled with uh, some boxes and towels, but this thing is fortified. I don't know if this was where they, this was like, I don't know what the purpose of this door is because you've got the two uh, large doors, the bars, which obviously look like the cell blocks. And then I don't know what that mini one is for. Did they used to put dogs in jail maybe? You got your own little animal control area right here, something like that. I think they probably just shot dogs back then. But if you guys know, I don't know what that little door is for. It's oh, that's maybe to feed them the food or something. Probably. There, like I said, there's not a lot of people out just because of the weather. But right now we're heading up these stairs and we're gonna head into the rest of the city. Just wanted to take you guys down there so you could see the lake. I'll definitely have to get my photos later. The altitude up here really gets you. I mean, it's not terrible, but definitely I'm breathing heavy after climbing some stairs. So watch out for the altitude. Check it out. Looks like a giant logging truck. Here's the Cobblestone Shopping Center. It's a, just a town shopping center. It's been around since 1966. Cool little clock tower. I will warn you guys. Uh, things are pricey around here. I know lots of my videos are on a budget. Uh, we take the bus and stuff like that. Try not to eat too expensive. So I will let you guys know it is a bit pricey up here. Well, we found this little ledge to sit on while I change batteries. Be back in a moment. Nice view too. So, I will warn you guys, I am cheating when it comes to the food spot. I've, I've been to all these places up here, so I already know if they're good or not because there's a limited selection of places to eat in this city. And I've been coming here, like I said, since I was young. So I've already eaten at these places. I know they're good. So the place we're going today, yes, I have been there. So I know it's a solid food spot. Unlike all the other ones, I had never been to them. But this is familiar territory. We're gonna go with a nice little cafe today, something simple. Before we do that though, I did wanna show you this bear, no it's not a real bear. I'm not gonna die, guys. Um, it's actually a mama bear with the two uh, cubs. But if you look closely, they're made out of pennies. All of this, the entire sculpture is made out of pennies. get a better shot of it it's actually huge it's like the size of like like height of like one and a half of me and I'm like six foot two it's made all out of pennies actually It's made from 205,000 pennies, to be exact. But I appreciate your guys' safety, or safety concerns. 
No, it's not a real bear. Now let's go get some food. So, we're gonna be trying out Sid's bagelry for the food spot. Let's give it a shot, guys. Well, we got our food and our drink. Got a coffee. Show you the food in just a second. We'll check out this view for our morning breakfast. Let's see, so I got the lox, which is like salmon on a bagel. I've never had this. So it looks like salmon, capers, onions, tomatoes, cream cheese, and I got mine on a jalapeno cheddar bagel. This was my grandpa's, my grandfather's recommendation. So we're gonna put it to the test. Well, Grandpa, you were not wrong. Grandma and Grandpa, you guys were not wrong. This is really good. I've never had lox bagel with the salmon. So thank you guys. Uh, this was a great recommendation. I'm going to finish this excellent bagel while looking at one of the most beautiful lakes in the world. And like I say in every video, might as well make it my catchphrase. What else, what else could you want, guys? What more could you ask for? What more could you ask for? That's my catchphrase in life. What more could you ask for than the present moment, which is now? Be grateful for everything. Be grateful for everyone in your life, everything. I'm not too much of a huge fan of onions, unless they're caramelized. So, I'm just gonna take a couple off here. I'd say, the bagel is perfect guys, but I'm just clarifying, personally, I don't like too many red onions. Rest in peace to the fallen soldiers. Oh, here comes the ambulance. The ambulance wasn't coming for these guys. But, rest in peace, as I was saying, to the fallen soldiers. But other than that, by fallen soldiers, guys, I mean the onions. It's not some deep meaning or anything. I just mean the onions. They fell off. And like I said, red onions kind of get to me in a weird way. Don't know what it is. We still got our coffee left, but other than that, those bagels are no more. I will say, like I said, it is a bit pricey up here. So if you guys, there's snow falling out of a tree behind me. Um, if you guys come up here, just know that going into it. I mean, this little bagel meal with my coffee cost around $20. So, um, but that's just because it is a tourist city. It is Tahoe. Thanks to my grandparents for the recommendation. And thank you to Sid's Bagelry. If you guys are in Tahoe City, make sure to check them out. I've done a lot of talking. And not a lot of walking. So let's get to that part. I thought some people might find this interesting. So up in Tahoe, they have bears, if you didn't know. And the trash cans are bear-proofed. So I have to put my hand here, push it, and open the trash can. It's a bear-proof trash can. Just thought it was kind of interesting tidbit. Right here, 
walking into the water. You gotta be careful of to get a picture of this. actually where we started so we started all the way behind those cabins walked all the way up there's the beach and the playground then we walked up around we went to the bagelry right up there came down through the parking lot And this boat over here is a very famous one. Let's go check that out before we wrap up this video because that's a piece of Tahoe history. And you know we love our history around here. Don't worry, I won't make you guys watch me walk the whole way back. I'll speed this up. So this is the Coast Guard boat, <coughs> the Tahoe Coast Guard. You can see they've got the lights on it, the orange markings, you can see, U.S. Coast Guard. And we're approaching the Tahoe Gal. which is a very famous historic Tahoe boat that as a child I would always see out in the lake from the pier. Check out the paddles to the rotors. My bad if I mess up that terminology. But check this thing out. TG on the top the stacks, welcome aboard. And it actually looks like they have a fake captain in there. That scared me because I actually thought that was a real person. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can see that. But there's like a fake human captain in there. But yeah, just a very historic boat. I'm not exactly sure on the dates, but like I said, as a kid, I would always see this, uh, you know, when we went on our trips here, always see this thing. So it, it is in use. I would always see it um, going past in the lake while I was out on the pier. And even at night, sometimes it's lit up. So... I've never been on it though. Maybe that will be the next adventure. Not the next adventure, because I'm leaving. Today is Monday. Um, I'm leaving tonight. Uh, and as usual, this video is going to be uploaded on a Wednesday. Uh, the usual upload schedule every other Wednesday. Another very nice restaurant, Jake's on the Lake. As you can see, it's called that for a reason. There's no one out here though. It's just me. Cause I did see a few people over there in that parking lot. Oh look, we do have someone actually. I know we didn't get an interview in in this video, so let's get an interview in with this guy. So what are your thoughts on Tahoe City? I want to see your epic sledding vid, brah. Hey, 
Wow, that's a record. Well, I'm gonna end the video off here with our friend, our new friend. I just wanted to say thank you guys for watching the newest adventure. On this channel, I just try and show you guys different places, a variety, good places to eat, just all around positivity, and exploring the world while I have the chance. So, and encouraging you guys to get out there and do some exploring too. Um, it means a lot that you guys stayed until the end. And as usual, I'll see you guys in the next adventure. Peace out, guys. Fist bump. Okay, guys, so I know I said the video is over, but it looks like there's two sides to the story. If you know what I'm saying. His face was actually over here, and I feel really bad because I was talking to his backside the entire time. Um, he's actually very chill. We had a bit of a conversation. Uh, he just needed to vent a little bit about life. It's all good. Um, but yeah, I I was just on the wrong side of him. And you know, that's a metaphor. There's always two sides to the story. Um, and I just wasn't seeing the other side, which was right here. So... Yeah, I fist bumped the back of his hand, so let's give him a proper handshake. Good luck to you, sir. And I hope everything gets better. I know it will. It's only up from here. Take care, bud. Oh no, guys. Guys, look. I found his family. This is what he was worried about. Because he lost them. And his kids are all the way down here. Guys, what are you doing? Gosh, what happened to this one? Ouch. Well, I'll give him a call real quick to let him know you guys are safe. Jeez. No wonder he was stressing.